What up fam? Diesel Automatic, plant-based bigness. You know what we do. Yo, it's March 17th, 2016. It is the two-month anniversary, if you will, of the release of my rap music video, I'm a Vegan. Yes, and if you haven't checked it out yet, you can do so right here. Boom, you can click like right there somewhere, yo. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just wanted to hop on here and express my gratitude to everybody uh, out there who has been showing love and support on the video. Uh, it's 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 been it's been overwhelmingly big. I mean, it's just been amazing. The 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 feedback, the response. It's over a hundred thousand views now. Uh, like near two thousand likes. All types of comments. The vast majority of them positive. Um, you know, of course, there's always gonna be a few a few haters and a few trolls, but it's 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 nothing. Um, and it's just amazing. And it and it 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 uh it really shows you know, the, the, the power and the unity and the strength of the vegan community online. You know, it's, it's, it's all of y'all from the beginning on Instagram, on, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere, is just sharing the video like crazy. And, you know, because y'all believe in it. And it, 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 it's what y'all stand for too. And the unity and people don't, you know, people don't care. They don't, they don't put their, they put their ego aside and it's like, this is about, this is about the animals. This is about the movement. So we're going to share this. We're going to, cause it's a, it's an effective way to spread the message. And, and y'all have done that. And, and it has really showed, you know, how amazing the vegan community online is and how amazing the movement is and how it's growing exponentially and reaching so many people. You know what I'm saying? Like I've got, this is, you know, I have, I have a bunch of videos out. For those of you who don't know, if you're, if you're new subscribers, I've been a raptivist, rapper slash activist for about three years now, professionally, I guess you could say, you know, putting it out and and um, put out over 100 songs, about 15, uh, you know, official professional music videos done with um, one of the best video production companies from London, Global Faction. Go check them out. You know, I have a bunch of videos on their channel as well so you could just google or youtube search diesel automatic and see all of my material you know i have my my most viewed video is Kaluminati, which has over 300,000 views but that's taken three years to get i have other v videos that ha have you know over a hundred thousand views it's taken a year a year and a half something like that so you know i'm a vegan two months over a hundred thousand views so it just really shows you know the, the 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 strength that lies within the vegan community and it's amazing because, you know, th th this, this song, it transcends. Like, I've had so many people who aren't even vegan come to me like, yo, you know, I'm not vegan, but that track is dope and I bump it and it's, you know, it's got me thinking differently. Or, you know, my vegan fam coming and saying, hey, Diesel, thank you, because, you know, up until now, I, I, I tried to share things with my non-vegan friends, but they weren't receptive to any of it. But I, I shared them your, your shared with them your video, your song, and they love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've already had a few people who have been influenced solely f by the song and the video to go vegan, or at least to start making that change. So, I mean, it's dope, and it shows. I've known for a long time the power that music has. I mean. Anybody who knows anything knows that music is such a powerful tool. It could be a weapon, but it's, 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 I mean, music, the actual frequencies, if you know about it, it look into it, it has power. It, you know, it's energy, it's vibration. So it has power to influence us, just the frequencies of the music alone. But then you add words, it's, it's, it's like a chant. And, and, and therefore people can be enchanted. Uh, you know, brainwashed, programmed, put under a spell, which is what happens in main, with mainstream music for the most part, especially rap and pop. You know, that's why I call it crap, C-R-A-P, commercial rap and pop, you know, because 
whether those artists know it or not, they are spreading the, a, a message that is detrimental to people. You know, you got artists who, particularly in rap, only talk about violence, you know, pr promiscuity, uh, sexism, misogynist ideas, you know, classism, of course, this sense of co um, competition, I'm better than you based on my material on my material wealth and my status in society, all of that. I mean, you even have, have rappers who are perpetuating um, animal abuse, yo, and I took a stand against that even even before I, w I went vegan. I got a, I got my track. Y'all should check it out anyway. It's called "This Is a Diss." I'll I'll put it right here too. You could click on that and go check that out because it talks about you know it, it, it's like a diss to the mainstream rappers who are perpetuating all this negativity, and you know it addresses Kanye's whole thing where he was like, "Tell Peter my mink's dragging on the floor." I'm asking what y'all rapping for? Stacks of cash, blacks of wars, flashy cars and fancy bras. What what what's your passion for? Fashion, so you bragging how your mink is dragging on the floor? This can yoke the life so you can feel what animals endure. Then where so this is what this is what is out there in the mainstream for the most part and in the underground. So there's very few rappers rappers, raptivists like myself. There are very few, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and who actually do it well. Not not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. <laughs> nah, but you know, I'm, I'm playing, but I'm, I'm confident. I know I have skill. I've, I've, I've been rapping my whole life. I put in work, so, but there are very few, you know, big up to all the ones that are doing it, you know what I'm saying? Um, Immortal Technique, Low Key, Akala, you know, my whole, of course, my whole Get Big fam, that go, that goes without saying, anybody that I've ever worked with, you know, Logic from the UK as well. Um, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, 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 of raptivists, but there's not nearly as many as, as crappers, you know what I'm saying? So it's important to get behind and to support the rappers who are really, who are really putting out this message and... You know, now with veganism especially, like, and, 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 and I, from what I know, I'm one of the few thus far who are actually, you know, putting it out there in, 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 in rap form and making it sound good and appealing to people. So, but regardless, you know, music is so powerful and it's a great way to convey the message and to spread the message. And I know that y'all realize that too, I'm sure, and that's why you're spreading the message and sharing, sharing the video to spread the message. Because, you know... It's great. I take a sense of, of, of pride in it. Sure, it's a personal accomplishment for me. I mean, I put in hard work and, and, and effort. You know, the host, obviously, I write all my own lyrics. The, 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 the music video I shot and edited by myself. You know, putting it all out on my own, promoting it, doing whatever I had to do. But, you know, my whole life, obviously, putting in work to get to a place where I have, I have the skill. I've honed my skill and mastered my craft to the point where I could convey the message with lyrics in a rhyme form and make it sound good and appealing to people's ears, you know what I'm saying, and but still spit knowledge and make sense and and, and and kick that real that realness. So of course I take a sense of pride and accomplishment, and I celebrate that. I celebrate myself as we all should. You know, nowadays there's a lot of new age. I, I, I feel it's new age nonsense. And I don't even like new age, but whatever. It's the, the, the idea of, oh, the, you know, this false reverse kind of ego trap, like where you should never be about yourself. Never. You should never take pride in anything you do. or And that's ridiculous. Or never talk about yourself. That's nonsense. Just because I take pride in my accomplishment. Don't take pride in things that you didn't accomplish, like your race or your, or your nationality or your, your, you know what I'm saying, your... Uh, the, the, the size of your penis if you're a man like you didn't do nothing to, the, that's like being proud and proud of the size of your shoes like the, your feet it's nonsense you know taking pride in something that you had absolutely nothing to do with but even your personal accomplishments that you take pride in take pride in them for yourself and to motivate yourself to keep going and to reaffirm what you already know as I did like I set out years ago with a vision and I manifested every step of the way everything that I put my intentions on to achieve and, to, and, to, and to, to, to make happen, I did. You know what I'm saying? I conceived it, I believed it, I achieved it. And why wouldn't I take pride in that? And I've taken pride and that's why I'm able to constantly do it. And I will continue to do it. So, but that pride doesn't make me feel better than anyone. It doesn't make me feel superior to anyone. You know what I'm saying? It's a personal accomplishment and pride I take. It's for me. It's not to, to compare myself to anyone else or to try to make myself feel better than anyone else. It's not about that. So, but more than that, more than the personal accomplishment I feel with this video, it's the, 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 
the feeling of, of it's a victory for veganism. Like there's every day there's victories for veganism and this one is too. You know, that's what it is. It's, it's because ultimately I'm an ethical vegan and I'm about the animals. You know, animal liberation, no animal use, you know, and of course the planet too. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to contribute to the, to the destruction of our planet. You know what I mean? Look at what animal agriculture industry does. Go watch um, Cowspiracy, watch Global Warming, Meet the Truth, Meat as in Meat, M-E-A-T, the truth. Go check those out. They're in the links, in the info section below. Like, whether or not you believe in global warming is irrelevant because the truth is that, you know, uh, animal agriculture is the leading cause of deforestation, um, cutting down the, 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 the Amazon rainforest, rainforests which are our planet's protection. It's, it's their lungs, essentially. It's the protection from um, dangerous uh, gases, gas emissions, CO2 emissions, methane emissions. The rainforest breathes in the CO2 and exhales oxygen, which we breathe. So. No matter what, whether you believe in global warming or not, are you, you, you're you okay with, with the rainforest being destroyed unnecessarily? So you could, you could consume animal products that you do not need to live, to, to, to be healthy, to thrive? You can't be okay with that. If you are, then you just don't care about anything. Then you're okay with anything that anyone does. And you don't care about the planet. You don't care about yourself. So anyhow... You know what I'm saying? So ultimately, it's about the cause. And when I see this video doing as well as it's doing, it, it makes me happy because I know that it is spreading the message. It is, it, is, it, is, it is helping the movement grow, which is ultimately going to help the animals and help the planet and help all of us. Because it's not just the animals and the planet, it's people too. All of our lives are at stake here, my people. We're talking about the future. We're not just talking about now. You have to be able to see further than your plate. See further than your plate, than your dinner table. Look past that, my people. Straight up. So anyway, I didn't get, you know, it's hard for me to not start getting into stuff, but I didn't get in here to really talk about all that. Yo, you can go down and research veganism. You should, regardless, go in the info section below. I've in included, as I do in all of my videos, loads of links to valuable information on the subjects of veganism, of animal agriculture. Please do the research. It, it, it touches on all, I got links to all different aspects of it. So please do the research. That's all I really want. You know, that's, I'm not, we are, y'all are grown-ups for the most part. If you're, if you're a kid, if you're a child, you too though. Y'all should, you should start learning now at an early age to do research. But you're grown-ups. Research, fam. You got Google. You, I, I've given you all this research. Don't come at me like that, fam. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not here to answer your every single question and to, 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 to spoon feed you like you're a child who needs to be spoon fed this information. I researched it myself. You can do it too. And I've even, I didn't have, you know, a, a, a database like I'm providing you with in every video. So just do the research. You know what I'm saying? That's all I really ask of anybody. And that's, it's, it's your obligation. It's your responsibility as a person to know what you are contributing to when you consume, where your dollars are going. That is your responsibility as a person, as a grown up. So do it. Make it happen. But yo, anyhow, back to what it is. I'm a vegan, over 100,000 views, two months, incredible, unbelievable, you know, I'm just super grateful and super thankful, and, you know, um, that's really all, let's keep, you know, let's keep, oh, I got, a, I got more music to come, more vegan-based music, you know what I'm saying, different sound to it, the subject matter is always going to be relatively the same, so I'm a, tr you know, I always try to flip up at least the sound of it to, um, you know, to, to, to do it like that, to make it somewhat different every time around, but I'm gonna keep doing that. Got a lot more vegan content coming, discussions, big talk. A lot of people been asking me to show my meals and how I make my, you know, quick, simple, easy, healthy meals and, and my training, you know, I, I'm, going on, I'm going on my cut now, as you can see, I've, I bulked up a little bit nicely, but you know, got that strength up, got that weight up. So planning on cutting it out till about July, hopefully get that nice ripped vegan physique. So I'll keep y'all posted on that with some video updates and my progress and whatnot. And so yeah, just keep it locked, you know, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, keep sharing the video, you know what I'm saying? You already have and I appreciate it. And if you don't want to anymore, you don't have to. I'm, I'm grateful as is, but you know, Keep sharing it because I, I, I do feel, I know it's a great way to, to, to spread the message and people are very receptive to it as you all know. So yeah, yo, keep sharing it. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep spreading the message and get big on them, y'all. And yo, go!
Go vegan. I love y'all. Big love and respect. Peace. Go vegan, go vegan, yeah. Go vegan, go vegan, go. Plant-based bigness. 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 Vegan lifestyle and fitness. Fitness. Fitness.